Good morning, church. Let's stand to our feet today. We serve a God who does impossible things. Amen? So let's give Him our worship. Let's give Him our praise this morning. Sing along with us. With just one word, you call the storm that surrounds me. With just one word, the darkness has to achieve. Yes, it does. Just one touch, I feel the presence of heaven. We just one touch, my eyes were open to see. My heart can't help but believe. Come on, there's nothing that I can't do. Sing it up. There's not a mountain that. Praise the name that makes a way. There's nothing that our God can't do. We believe. So with just one word, you heal what's broken inside me. We just one word.
We're just going to sing to him and lift up his name. So I was invited to sing praise to the king this morning. Would you? morning praise the lord all people and nations i think that's all of us <laughs> everybody in this room this morning 
We're called to give him praise. He's worthy of it. And so we come into this place to bring him our worship, to bring, bring our, our adoration, our thanksgiving to him. And I want to read from the words of David in Psalm 22 that really just echoes what we just sang. It says, all the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall worship before you. This is prophetic and we're fulfilling it right now in this moment today. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. He's worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our praise. And how cool is it that we can, we can look at these words that were written thousands of years ago. Amen? Yeah, go ahead. Give him some praise. We can do it right now. We can embody these words, this declaration of hope that, that we would continue to turn to the Lord, to remember him, all that he's done, all that he is. And the only natural way, way to respond to the revelation of who God is, is to worship him, to praise him. So this morning, we just wanna, we wanna create some space for that as we continue to sing. And so maybe you wanna step forward this morning to, to make an altar at the front of this platform today. And just to give God praise, give God your worship, lay your burdens at his feet. If you feel compelled to do that, you're welcome to come and do that. Or maybe you just wanna make an altar right where you're standing, right where you're sitting, whether you're watching online or you're with the church house today. And one way we can do that to just demonstrate our worship, an outward expression of an inward posture is just by lifting our hands. And so if you feel that this morning, if you, if you feel comfortable, would you lift your hands with me? And this is a sign of surrender. This is a, a posture of God. Would, I, I wanna give all of me for all of you today. I wanna lay everything down before you and ask you to have your way in my life. It's an attitude of repentance, of humility. It's also a, a posture of praise, right? Like when the Chiefs score a touchdown today, you're gonna do this, right? So, so this is also a posture of praise and how much more worthy is our King than the kingdom to receive that, right? So it's an incredible thing that we have an opportunity to do, to give God our praise. So Jesus, we worship you. We praise you. And we know that you're working in this place right now, that you are the God of the impossible, like we've sang this morning already, that you're worthy of our praise and our worship. So God, we just wanna give it all to you today. All people and nations, and that's us. So would you receive our worship as we sing? Let's sing. You are here. Moving in our midst, I worship you. Come on, worship him. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. So I worship you. I worship you. Come on, sing that again. You are here. You are here. Moving. Healing 
celebrate that he's great, he's good, he's majestic, he's sovereign, he's holy. Praise God, we serve a God like that. Amen? Amen. We're so grateful to be in the house of the Lord with you, worshiping our King together. What an honor and blessing it is every single week. Why don't you take a second, shake somebody's hand, welcome them to church this morning. It's going to be a great morning.